Hello Virgo, welcome to your um, extended reading <laughs> for May 2020. Thank you so much for joining me. Let's see what is coming in for you. I just want to jump right into it. I'm going to pull a couple of cards for each placement here. Then we're going to get the reversals and we'll go on from there. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Please clarify this entire reading for Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. One more shuffle. Let's split the deck. Let's get some reversals. Virgo, 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 please clarify this entire reading for Virgo. That feels good. Let's split the deck. Okay, let's look at the past here. So the past was the Seven of Wands. Somebody's defensive, wall up, not ready wanting to fight for this or not wanting to fight for this or still wanting to fight from some, for something else in their past. Why is that all happening? We have the Two of Wands and the Ace of Cups. So somebody was either really not truly ready for a new beginning in love, but it kind of crossed their path. And so, you know, it was a stunner, right? This can also be somebody who was wanting a new beginning in love, but again, they were still stuck in something from their past. That two of wands is indicating trying to make a decision about something. You could have been stuck, um, you could have been a third party Virgo where this person, not intentionally third party where they were trying to cheat on you, but what I'm trying to say is, you know, you maybe you met somebody who was still hung up on someone from their past and they were trying to make a decision between the old life and the new life. Why is this happening? Page of Wands reversed and the Knight of Swords reversed. So somebody wasn't taking action and they weren't speaking their truth. This can also be arguments or this could be ghosting. You know what I'm saying? It's like this forward movement start stop start stop it's like a lot of back and forth with somebody that's really what i'm feeling here and i'm feeling the irritation or the annoyance with it and or about it especially on virgo side it's like oh i don't have time for this i don't know what this person's deal is but i just don't even want to deal with that the past energy between you is the six of cups why is that we've got the nine of wands and the moon mm, okay so Again, for some of you, this there was a connection to somebody else from someone's past, whether it was yours or theirs. I feel, though, that like for a lot of you, I feel like you had a soul connection with whoever this person is, but they were still healing from something in their past that they weren't telling you about. Whether it was another love relationship or marriage or divorce, whether it was a childhood wound or trauma or some kind of a blow to their ego, I just don't know. That moon card, some of you could be dealing with a Pisces. Um, you know, or just somebody who was keeping something secret and they just didn't want you to see their weakness. Um, and um, again, because they see you as the empress, they put you up on a pedestal, right? This can also be those of you where the past energy between you is beautiful, but something happened, some kind of a falling out for you and this person that left you in the nine of wands energy, battered, beaten, bruised, torn and bleeding, just after a battle, like it just left you gutted and it was still unsolved, okay? There's an open 
wound here where there was no clarity there was no communication something along those lines why is this happening four wands reverse page of swords reverse for some of you the person that you're dealing with is not ready for commitment at all let alone marriage they're very very immature emotionally or they're just not ready for it in terms of life stage okay so some of you could be dealing with somebody young and just not ready uh, the, the Page of Swords is very young energy, whether young in age or young in emotional maturity. Others of you, you're dealing with somebody who is coming out of a marriage. They were going through separation or divorce when you met them. And they didn't tell you the full story about that marriage or about what happened. They kept some of it from you. They don't want you to know the depths of their pain. They may not either want you to know exactly what was done to them because they're embarrassed that they were played like that. Or they don't want you to know what they did to trespass against their spouse. And they're not ready for anything um, you know, serious. Or they weren't when they met you because they were still getting over a previous relationship. This person might also be somebody who uh, has a fear of commitment and marriage. Um, and also, you know, that page of swords, it's like, do nothing, take no action, but they're still watching you at a distance, if that makes sense. It's pretty annoying energy. Um, you know, the current energy between you is the Empress. What does this mean? Well, look at that, Virgo. The Empress came out to clarify the Empress. And with that, justice. Damn! Damn! Oh my God. So what this is telling me, Virgo, is that the current energy between you two is that you are the justice. You don't even know it yet. I feel that whatever happened between you and this person in the past, they've been suffering in silence ever since your falling out or your separation or whatever. You have leveled up. You were always the empress. Then you just got stronger in your empress energy because you were scorned or whatever from whatever this person did. And you leveling up alone, moving on with your life was justice. It stung this person. It chaps their ass. They can't believe they let a good thing go or they fucked it up. Or they see how beautiful you are, how powerful you are, how magnetic you are. And that alone is justice. It is the revenge. It is the karma served to them on a silver platter. Because they can't have you now. They had you before, they fucked it up, they messed up a good thing, they couldn't see what they had, whatever the deal is. For others of you, you've moved on to a new relationship and you have gotten pregnant by somebody else and this person is devastated by that. So I'm feeling that energy too. Um, and then others of you, you're just pregnant with new ideas, creativity, inspiration, business, career, you got new opportunities all the way around and that is the justice. Wow. Wow and wow. Why is this all happening? Because this person didn't appreciate you for the empress and magic, the pure magical unicorn that you are, right? The empress, the seductress, the, um, you know, not just seduct seductress in a dirty way, but some, you know, you know those types, those type of women, they've got it all, right? They're intelligent, they're sexy, they're successful, they're seductress e, right? They're passionate they're um very attractive and beautiful they're everything you know what i'm saying they're the type they're the energy that makes other women cower in um insecurity and so this person wasn't admiring that or they didn't see that in you or they couldn't appreciate it and so things came to an end this is also happening they're there i feel like they're their ass is just chapped like you wouldn't believe i'm really feeling the strong sense here Virgo, the person that you're dealing with that messed it up with you, boy, oh boy. Boy, oh boy, have they been watching you at a distance, man, and they are spitting nails or their ass is, oh, like, I'm just, my ass is chapped. Their ass is chapped. <laughs> There's almost a sense of jealousy here. Um, they can't take credit for it. They can't be a part of your life, a part of your joy. They can't be a partner to this. Um, you know, they, um, they just... They just messed it up. They feel like a fool. And I feel, why is this happening and this justice happening? Because there's unfinished business here between the two of you, right? There was no healing. There was no communication. This thing was left wide open. Uh, somebody ghosted the other person. I really feel that this other person you're dealing with, Virgo, feels inadequate in your presence, in your energy compared to you. Or they feel inadequate when it when it comes to being a true, you know, partner, um, life partner, spouse, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever. Okay, um, and and they just didn't feel like they could measure up. 
And then whatever happened, back and forth, blowing hot and cold, you know, even betrayal or some kind of falling out, you know, this has left not only an open wound, but there was never any healing, any conversation, any closure. And so now you've just decided to channel that energy into something good and powerful for yourself instead of laying on the floor in the fetal position and crying over this person. You might have had a period of time with that, but then you picked yourself up. You were like Wonder Woman, okay? And um, and now it's like this person's eating crow with a capital C because you channeled that negative experience with them into you morphing into your best self. Wow. Oh my God, that's so powerful. This is your person right now, Seven of Pentacles. Why? Knight of Swords, Hierophant. Look at that. And what do we have here on the bottom of the deck? Knight of Swords. Mm -hmm. This person has been bothered by this situation ever since whatever happened happened between you two. They have a lot they want to say. This person has been stewing in various emotions since your falling out, separation, you know, argument, blow up, whatever. They have gone from anger to sadness to bitterness to resentment to chomping at the bit to almost busting out of your skin, their skin and irritation, picking up that phone to call you because they just have to set it straight. Um, they've struggled with their ego. They have been jealous that you've moved on and done well for yourself. They want to come in and speak truth either about their spiritual self, their spiritual development, revelations and epiphanies, or they want to come in and speak truth about a past marriage or a commitment. They might also want to come in and speak truth about investing in you and making an offer to commit. Um, but I am feeling a sense of urgency here with this Knight of Swords. Like they've got to clear the air with you. They are not in a good light when it comes to you and they know it. And that chaps their ass too. They're pissed off that, they, that you've lost respect for them, that you don't see them as, you know, an honorable person, that you don't see them in, or hold them in high regard, uh, that their image and reputation basically has been tarnished in your eyes in one way or the other. That really bothers them. Why is all this happening? Tower reverse and three of wands reverse. This person was trying to avoid a disaster with you in the past by doing absolutely nothing. However, whatever happened still caused a tower moment. This person let you burn in the rubble or they left you bleeding out on the floor. They did nothing to fix this situation. No communication. They let you cry. They let you hurt. They let you, you know, bleed out, like I said, and they did nothing. And now they're regretting it. This is somebody who is a coward and dropped the ball big time. And they know it. That pisses them off even more because they know that they're a coward and they know that they messed it up. That's really what I'm feeling here. How they view you, they view you as moving on from them. That is for damn sure. Why? <laughs> Death. Ace of Pentacles. So how they view you, Virgo, is that you're not even paying them any mind anymore. You're not interested. It's done and over for you. You buried that horse a long time ago. Uh, you have moved on in a new direction. You've laid a new foundation for yourself. You've got new opportunities coming in professionally, personally, romantically, platonically. People are celebrating you. You're standing in your power. You're shining your light. You're making your own money. You have other offers coming in. You've got other people wanting your attention. And you're like, forget this. I'm done with this dud. You know, whether it's male or female, whether this person from your past is male or female, you're like, forget about it not interested that person's too difficult they have too much baggage i don't have time or energy for that you know i know that i deserve more i'm not here to be you know look you're not this person's therapist you're not their mommy you're not their coddler you're not their teat to suck on you need somebody who can match you in your energy the emperor who is fit and ready for battle who is a good leader and provider who matches your energy and can protect you but also lift you up at the same time you don't need a mama's boy who needs another mommy who's going from mommy to girlfriend to wife hoping the wife is going to be like his mommy you don't need that or vice versa a woman with daddy issues coming to you and hoping that you're gonna you know fill the void and be her daddy and take care of her you need a partner you need somebody that matches you on your level 
that can pick up the slack when you're down and vice versa, that can carry you through battle on their shoulders, right? Not somebody who cowers and leaves you to die taking all the bullets, okay? So you are like, fuck this, peace, I'm out. Why is all this happening? Look at that. Because there was no conversation had, because there was no truth given or real story given, because somebody, you know, was a coward because they ghosted because um you know the the light burned out because the passion fizzled because this person the fact that they left it hanging and did nothing turned you off and you don't feel that there's any future here with this person and you don't feel that this person even if they did come back and talk to you that they're going to even tell you a fraction of the truth or they're going to give you some kind of skewed story you don't buy it you don't trust them you don't respect them that's really what i'm getting here wow Oh my goodness. Okay, how they're feeling? They want your forgiveness and a second chance. Why? Six of Cups, there it is. And Page of Wands. Look, Virgo, past energy between you. Six of Cups. If I can hold it right in the frame of the camera. So. Why do they want forgiveness? Why do they want a second chance? Because now they're realizing the Six of Cups. They knew that you guys had this connection when you met or when things were new or whatever, but they were denying it for some reason, okay? Uh, fear, whatever. Insecurity, okay? Now they want a second chance because they feel that Six of Cups. They feel the pain that is caused by your absence. They feel the pain deep within them on a soul level um, over losing you. Maybe they're used to treating people like a number. They kind of use people like Kleenex and when they're done with them, they're just done and they move on. Not you. You left an impression. You're under their skin. You're in their soul. You're in their veins. This person knows that there is some kind of a weird magical connection with you. Possibly they're, they're privy to the fact that this is past life related. They haven't been able to get over you and move on. Why is all this happening? Wasn't there another, hold on, no, yeah, there was another card. There's supposed to be two of these. What was the other card? Hang on, I'm getting my cards mixed up. Oh, there it is, Page of Wands. Clarifying this is the Page of Wands. So this person definitely wants to make a small gesture in your direction. They want to take action towards you. Making a small offer, sending you a message, opening up lines of communication. Hey, can we get together for a cup of coffee? Hey, can we talk on the phone? Hey, can we go for a walk? They want to get back in your presence. They just want to get through the door with you. And then hope to God from there that, you know, they can make things all right. Why is all this happening? Definitely drop the ball in the past. Somebody didn't put the effort in, into this. They didn't take action. They let it, they just dropped, they dropped the ball. That's just what I keep seeing. It's like, you know, there was, the fucking house was on fire and this person did nothing to throw water on it to put it out. They just stood there and let it burn. And they let you burn inside of it. They did nothing to fix this. They did nothing to keep you. They did nothing to stop you from walking out the door. And this person knows that they knows they're a cop. They know they're a coward. They took zero action. They also did not nurture this connection. They did not fight for you. They dropped the ball and there was no manifesting a new beginning or keeping the magic going. But now they want to come back and try to resurrect this for one reason or the other. Wow. Sorry, I got a little passionate there for a minute because I'm really feeling the energy. <laughs> All right. How do they want to move forward with you, Virgo? The star card. Why is that? Well, look at this. Ace of Swords. Now they want to have a little conversation with Virgo because they really, really, really want to heal this with Virgo star card coming out to clarify star card. This person is desperate to fix this situation with you. Why this was happening in the past? Ace of Swords reverse. Little to no communication. Ghosting bouncing, disappearing, leaving you hanging. Oh, now they want to be the Ace of Swords. Not only open up the door to communication with you, but now they want to step forward and speak their truth and tell you what happened and try to let you into their mind and their heart and give you a peek behind the curtain of what went on in their, in their personal life or in their inner circle that they didn't want you to see before. 
Uh huh. And they really want to heal this. They want to come back into your star presence, Virgo, because you are the Empress. You are all the queens in one plus the Empress. You are a double star, Virgo. You're standing in your power. You're shining your light. You're a star on stage. Everybody loves you. And this person wants a piece of that action. Okay. Why is all this happening? Because they're ready and willing to come out of self-preservation in terms of being wall up, guarded, you know, all of that. This person, they had their tail between their legs. They were trying to hold on to what they had left because something happened, I feel, for them that stripped them of whatever they had in one way or the other. And they felt like their world came crashing down around them. They lost everything. Maybe they had money problems. And they were very guarded when it came to you. Now they're not so guarded. Why? Because maybe they've done some healing. Why? Because they found some courage. They want to step forward and communicate. Why was this happening in the past? This person had no confidence. Not only did they lack a spine, but they lacked a set of balls. This person could not handle you. They couldn't communicate. They couldn't stand in your presence. They couldn't be in your light because it made them feel inadequate or bad about themselves or jealous or whatever. This person couldn't hold a candle to you, Virgo. You're out of their league. You've always been out of their league. And now they want to try to come back in and either match you where you're at or they want to come back in and climb your ladder to get into your league. I don't know. It depends what type of person you're dealing with. Oh, my goodness. Behind the scenes, what's going on behind the scenes? Three of Pentacles. Why is that? temperance they're definitely trying to heal themselves and they're trying to heal their life they've been working hard to get their ducks in a row that's what i'm feeling and i feel that temperance card is really just confirming it the chariot is indicating they definitely want to move in your direction full steam ahead you know zero to 60 in a millisecond but they're also at a crossroads because they're really not sure if virgo not only would um uh um reject them but if virgo would um you know, let them, take them back, if you will. Why is all this happening? You were dealing with somebody who was a liar in the past. Big time. Liar, liar, pants on fire. They weren't standing in their integrity and dignity. This was not an honorable person for one reason or the other. On the light side of things, they're a good person with some, with some secrets they didn't want you to know about because they were scared how you would react to them or they didn't want you to see them as less than or it bruised their male ego or whatever the case is. On the shadow side of this energy, you're dealing with a full-on man manipulator. And this person knows it. They know they're slimy and they're a weasel and you they can't get one over on you, Virgo. You're the one that got away. Now this person wants to come back in, try to apologize, stand in integrity and speak their truth. They want to have a conversation. Mm-hmm. Yep. All right. The overall advice here is the two of wands, right? Hurry up and wait. Why is that? Four swords. Look at that and the nine of pentacles so virgo i really feel that this is confirming spirit spirit telling you to take it slow with this person you could still be in healing from this situation with this person for some of you uh, virgos this person really gutted you in the past i mean i'm talking gutted you shattered your heart broke a dream something on a soul level even and you needed a lot of healing as a result of this you had to glue yourself back together and pick yourself up off the floor and move on with it and now you're in that nine of pentacles energy meaning you are grounded stable secure independent self-sufficient you don't need this person and that's probably some something else that chaps their ass they know you don't need them and so that bothers them even more because then they that's less and less control that they have over you the other reason, so so spirit could be telling you proceed with caution because you're still establishing yourself, even though you are established, you're establishing yourself with this empress energy in terms of birthing new things, okay? You don't want somebody to come in and ruin whatever your plans and projects are. Also, you could still be in healing, okay? More, you know, more than you realize. The second scenario with this is spirit is telling you proceed with caution with this person because you are the one standing in a strong position right now. This person is still healing the past with you and their past be before you. So they might still be in a vulnerable state, a little bit needy, a little codependent, and just kind of beneath you at this point. I hate to say it that way, but that's really what I'm feeling. Why is this happening? 
Look at this. Five of Wands reversed, Seven of Wands reversed. This person, I feel, has been brought to their knees since your falling out or separation. They have been humbled. Life has kicked them around a little bit, including you. You kicked them in the balls when you showed up as a double, entra a double empress. I'm talking so fast because of the excitement. I just can't get the words out. <laughs> This here, Virgo, you don't even know it, but this is a kick in the balls. Even if they're female, you kicked them in the proverbial balls just by standing in your double empress energy. That was the justice that got served. And boy, oh boy, did it hurt. Oh my God, did it hurt. And this person's been eating crow ever since. So why is all of this happening now? Because I feel on a soul level, one of the reasons you came into this person's life in this, in this life, crossed their path, was to bring them to their knees. Force a death of their ego. Humble themselves. Because for some of you, you were dealing with an arrogant prick, whether it was male or female. They thought they were the bee's knees. They acted like it was, you know, all about them. They treated women. If it was a man, they treated women like women were beneath them. And their thoughts and feelings didn't matter. You know, the whole misogynistic thing. And if it's reversed, if it's a female, she's just a selfish bitch who used and abused women and ate them for lunch. And something happened here where you brought this person to their knees and humbled them. Not only you, but since you're falling out in separation, this person's been kicked around by life. And they have had to uh, come down to planet Earth and humble themselves. Um, and they've had a difficult go of it. That's why they are still healing. That's why they're not sure if they should step towards you even though they want to. That's why this person um, is healing their ego, healing their soul. And you're sitting pretty just reading a book in the garden with your bottle of wine and your money. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like you're out of their league, Virgo. Seven of Wands, Five of Wands. The defenses are down. They don't want to fight anymore. They don't want to let their ego, you know, um, ha you know, whatever. You know what I mean? It's get in the way. Why else is this happening? Because Virgo, you drop them on their head. You being in the Five of Wands, the Seven of Wands energy is saying, you know what? I don't have time for this. I'm not interested in your shenanigans, your fuckery, and your bullshit. I don't deal with immature little boys or girls. I'm a grown adult. I've got adult responsibilities and adult things to do and if you're going to be you know giving me this temper tantrum type energy then you can go sit in the corner or in a pit by yourself and throw your temper and tantrums and I'm walking away because I've got bigger fish to fry so you know they feel on an energetic level Virgo that you are not hemorrhaging energy towards them into them about them even telepathically anymore and it bothers them because you've moved on Okay, the outcome, hermit, why? Magician, fool, yep. Maintain distance, maintain your integrity and dignity and your personal boundaries when it comes to this person. You know, you can hear them out. You can let them back in your life at an arm's distance, right? You can give them a chance to prove themselves to you, but you're busy with your own life, Virgo. You have gone within. You've done the philosophical thing. You have found yourself. You're in your Empress energy. Now you're manifesting new beginnings and miracles and opportunities, and you're the fool moving on in a different direction. For some of you, you're making a different. You're making different life decisions. This person might not even be aware of it. Like for example, let's say you were in a relationship with this person. It went south. Tower moment. You went your separate ways. And they've been watching you from a distance and waiting too long to make a move. Now, Virgo, you are making plans to move out of state. And this person doesn't know it. And they think when they come back in your direction that you're going to be in the same place they left you in. But little do they know that some Virgos are getting ready to pack their boxes and fill a moving truck. And you've already made plans in a new direction. That's just one generic example. What I'm trying to say is, is that for some of you, there's a fair amount of time that has gone by here and you have already moved in a new direction with this fool card. This person doesn't even know it. This could be new direction in career, new direction in where you live, new direction in a, a relationship. Some of you are in a different relationship. Some of you are having someone else's baby, okay? Even if you're a man. Not having someone else's baby, i.e. a woman that, you know, you're pregnant with right now. So this is very interesting. 
And this is also some of you, if you haven't already started making those big life decisions, you're thinking about it and you're getting ready to leap off this cliff, you know, in faith to move in a new direction. This person knows that time is ticking and that the window of opportunity is closing and they better make take take action towards you otherwise they're going to lose you forever because you are going to make big life decisions that changes the course of your life that does not include them. Why is all this happening? Virgo, because this person was a coward in the past. Period. Emperor reversed, eight of wands reversed. This is not a leader. You know what I'm saying? This is a leader who didn't take action on behalf of the people and the entire kingdom got slaughtered, right? You're dealing with a coward here. And that's just the long and short of it. That's really what I'm seeing. I'm getting pissed off for you, Virgo, because nobody has time to deal with this kind of bullshit. <laughs> God, for the love of God, right? And you have finally figured that out. And you're like, see you later, alligator. Because, you know, <laughs> time's ticking in my life too. I ain't getting any younger. All right. What is coming in here for Virgo that Virgo needs to know? What's coming in here for Virgo that Virgo needs to know? Either about this person, this situation, or even Virgo. Damn. Ouch. Whew. This can mean so many things. Either you're bound to this person, they're bound to you. Either energetically, legally, through children, assets, something like that. Marriage. Other ways that this can be playing out is your person was bound to somebody from their past. This can be bound in addictions. All kinds of addictions. Unhealthy behavior and life choices. Uh, toxicity and dysfunction. This can also be bound to each other energetically, meaning you're tied to each other from past life events. And the point of you two crossing each other's path in this life was to bring those past life situations full circle so that you could close out those chapters and move forward. Conclusion. Oh, yeah. Destruction. Oh, boy. I feel for a lot of you that shit already hit the fan. Some kind of tower moment happened and the conclusion for a lot of you was this open wound. Having to heal the open wound and then stand in your power as a result of it. I feel that for your person, they've got everything backwards. They couldn't handle the conclusion and or stepping up to the plate following through so they, de they destroyed this relationship. I feel for a lot of you, you're dealing with somebody who's a self-sabotager. Okay, what else is coming in here for Virgo? Guide. Whether this is you or whether this is them, somebody is seeing the light, they're getting, hearing the call, they're going on the pilgrimage. You've already been through that darkness. Maybe this person has been just starting, I don't know. Bound, conclusion, destruction, and guide. For some of you, you wanted to get back together with this person for quite a while, okay? But through the bondage and through the destruction, that was enough of a conclusion for you to move on, for you to see the light that this situation isn't good for you and this person isn't the one, that you would be settling on this person. Again, Virgo, they're beneath you. Or this person was doing a lot of settling in the past. And so when the Empress cross, crosses their path, they don't even know how to handle the Empress because they've been dealing with low vibrational energy and relationships their whole life. So they couldn't handle you. What else is going on here? Summer. You either met this person in the summer, uh, something happened during a summer, during a summertime, a pivotal memory or turning point, or something could be coming this summer from this person or happening with this person this summer. Ooh. We got barrier and commitment. So either there's commitment coming in the summer and there's a barrier to it or this person there was a barrier to commitment in the past meaning they were scared of commitment or they had something else that they were involved in or maybe you met during the summer and you couldn't date because they were involved with someone else it can mean so many things so just use these cards how it makes sense for you anything else coming in here for virgo i gotta get going because this is getting long Anything else? Let's take whatever flipped over. Grief. 
Oh boy, lots and lots of grief here, probably on both sides, but I am feeling that since Virgo has moved on, this person has been left behind in the grief all alone. There's a karmic partner here, whether it's you and this person, this could be a karmic partner that, you're, that you were bound to or that you guys had to do some kind of karmic lesson or learn from it, or this person that you're dealing with, they were involved in a relationship in their past that they were bound to, and that person was a karmic partner and it was prolonged for them. And the last one is surrender. Surrendering to the situation, you know, letting go of it, moving on. This person that you're dealing with, surrendering to the soul connection between you and not being scared of it. So surrender is happening somehow, some way on both sides of the street, okay? Let me get these decks here. Okay, what is the shadow side of this person that, um, some of you Virgos too, didn't we see the moon card in this reading? I don't know why I'm getting a hit with Pisces. Yeah, here's a moon card. We got a moon there and I thought we had a moon somewhere else. Pisces, you had, Pi you had Pisces energy, you had Aquarius with the star energy, Hierophant is Taurus, uh, Devil is, uh, you know, the bound card is um, Capricorn. You had the earth elements in there. You had the um, air, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. So we pretty much have every, you know, suit or, um, ooh, what is this? Suit or, um, you know, whatever. Okay, so these cards were stuck in the wrong deck. Let's just look at them. Ego, mirroring, and numbing. Some of you, I'll just throw it out there. For some of you, this person had hit a huge ego. You were mirroring them in terms of your empress self. Like their ego was clashing with your empress because the empress is authentic. The empress knows who she is. This person maybe didn't know who they were. They couldn't pull the wool over your eyes. Since losing you, they've been numbing themselves with, um, you know, self-medication. Or they were numb in their emotions or this person was emotionally unavailable. Okay, what is the shadow side, thank you, of this person that you're not aware of doubt? They have a lot of doubt. They go back and forth in their mind. They can't make a decision to save their life. This person is ungrounded in who they are on the inside, so they doubt everything. And they're not sure who they can trust. Jeez, here's another card. Metamorphosis. Yep, metamorphosis. Okay. Um, what else? Thank you. Shadow side of this person. Ooh, they were very superficial. Yeah. Pride and ego, all that. Again, you're the empress. They're showing up as somebody who is shallow and just not in touch with themselves. They kept everything on the surface. They tried to have a superficial relationship with you and it wasn't happening. Um, you know, they're used to going through the motions, the, um, honeymoon stage, the sex, the romance, the rose colored glasses and the fantasy. But as soon as things became real or they were, they were required to step up to the plate and be dependable this person couldn't handle the pressure what else oh yep they're very uncomfortable in their own skin they're uncomfortable with who they are their past um, you know their reputation in the world this person is just very uncomfortable sharing their feelings because they don't even know what those are right or their thoughts they're not even sure what their own opinions are I feel like for a lot of you this person kind of is, a, is like a chameleon they take on the opinions of those around them and that can change day to day uh, what else is coming in from this person? Yep. Told you. Some of you definitely dealing with that liar, that King of Swords reversed. Um, and the Page of Pentacles reversed. Total manipulation. Mental and emotional manipulation. Psychological manipulation. Gaslighting. Narcissism. Those of you dealing with somebody on the shadow side. This is a person who plays on your emotions. They pay attention to what you want and they try to tell you that that's what they're gonna give you, all that kind of stuff. They're a manipulator. On the light side, if they're not a bad person, they could still have manipulative tendencies. What else for Virgo about this person? Okay, I'm gonna take those and move on. They were very unstable individual and they might still be an unstable individual. Absolutely fixated on you. And what did I say in the beginning of the YouTube video where I said when I was pre-shuffling the cards, the um, um, devil, um, 
Knight of Cups and Nine of Pentacles came out and I was telling people on YouTube, you've got somebody who's obsessed with you <laughs> and they're watching you like a hawk and they're getting ready to make an offer. They can't let you go. Totally fixated. Totally self-medicating. Completely unstable mentally, emotionally, psychologically, spiritually, financially, whatever it is. Some of you, this person had addictive issues, codependency, toxicity, narcissism, shadow side. Others of you, you're dealing with somebody who is a broken child on the inside. They're fixated on you because you were helping them feel better about themselves, whatever it is, but they were definitely unstable, especially in their emotions. That's why this was coming up over here is a lot of wishy-washy energy, back and forth, start and stop. This person couldn't make up their mind, etc. And they didn't know what they wanted. What are the feelings and the emotions that this person is dealing with that Virgo doesn't know about? Feelings and emotions that this person's dealing with that Virgo doesn't know about. Bored. Uninterested, apathetic, and jaded. So that's interesting. If you were dealing with somebody who was a user and abuser or somebody who's just very empty on the inside, they get bored in relationships very quickly and they move from one person to the next very quickly. It's all about the honeymoon phase for them and the excitement of it. As soon as the novelty wears off, they move on. Or as soon as they've had sex with a the person, they're bored, okay? The other thing with this is that they're jaded about the fact that it didn't work out between the two of you. They're bored in terms of nothing happening between you two. That's why they're getting ready to take action action towards you for this whole time if their ego has been in the way Virgo they've been waiting for you to make a move towards them because they felt self-entitled in terms of Virgo should be chasing me no fuck that what happened was they messed up they need to own their shit and apologize to you and not be you know narcissistic about it okay so now they're getting ready to I feel like you holding off and holding back and moving on with your life and not feeding into this person has humbled them now they're jaded about the fact that you're the one that got away you're the one that didn't you beat them at their own game basically and they're getting bored with the no action between you they're getting to the point where um they need some stimulation okay they're also worried that you're bored that you're uninterested and apathetic towards them what else here emotions that this person's dealing with very jealous virgo envious suspicious and possessive they could be jealous uh definitely of you dating other people or possibly meeting someone else those of you that are in a new relationship or pregnant with someone's child and this person this ex knows about it they're they are raging jealous okay those of you that are dating somebody new but they don't know about it yet it's because you know that they have a jealous tendency others of you they're just jealous about the thought, even the thought of you moving on and dating somebody else. Now, it's not just about romance and stuff. This person is jealous of your light, of your shine, of your success, of other people celebrating you. They couldn't lift you up before. They tried to tear you down or keep you small because they don't want you to do better than them. So I feel like for a lot of you Virgos, you were dealing with somebody who was extremely immature. They were a broken the little boy or little girl in an adult's body, they tried to present themselves like they were somebody who had their shit together and ready to be your match. But really, uh, they showed you very quickly that they're inadequate and they're uh, extremely immature. They can't handle adult relationships. Sh ashamed and hopeful. Ashamed, unworthy, dis disgraced, and humiliated. Look at the child in his mother's shadow, if that's not very telling. Um, and again, they're very ashamed of how they handled this, how what they did or didn't do, said or didn't say, how they dropped the ball, etc. How they left you burning in a building or bleeding out on the floor. They're hopeful, optimistic, expectant, and full of faith that perhaps uh, if they approach you the right way, that uh, you know you'll you know listen to them, that they can get their foot in the door and perhaps get back into your life. What is it that this person, um, because this is getting too long, Virgo, I'm just gonna shuffle this. What does this person wanna say to Virgo? I'm gonna split it and pull from the top to save time. What does this person want to say to Virgo? Or what does this person want Virgo to know? All right. Let's split the deck, see what comes in for you. 
I don't know if I can meet your expectations. Well, there it is. That's what I've been saying all along. I can still feel you. I'm telling you, this person obsessed with you, Virgo. They're so attached to you, it's, 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 it's insane. And for some of you, you're gonna be surprised to learn that because you're gonna think, well, I've already moved on and so much time has gone by and I never heard from this person. I just didn't, th I didn't think they cared. Mm -hmm. I should have been more honest with you about how I was feeling at the time. This person was not capable of communicating their thoughts and their feelings or where they were at or whatever happened to them, etc. They were very insecure about you seeing the real them. I can't handle your words right now. I'm telling you, this person is very scared of rejection when it comes to you because you are the empress. You're not only the empress, you're the double empress. So this person is really scared about not only rejection or about you handing it back to them on a silver platter, basically ripping them a new asshole, <laughs> telling them what all their shortcomings and faults are, shoving it down their throat, up their ass, and kicking them out the door. <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to laugh at that, but that's really what's going on. I can't seem to find the right words to say to you, right? I can't handle your words right now. I can still feel you. I don't know if I can meet your expectations. I can't seem to find the right words to say to you. I don't know what to say or how to approach you because I'm so scared of you, Virgo, but I want you to know I still love you. I am so, I fucked up badly and I do love you and I'm so sorry that I couldn't uh, be the person that you needed me to be. They feel like a failure. I miss you regardless of how things seem. I know I screwed things up and honestly have no idea how to fix this. Wow. There you have that. What does this person want to say to Virgo from this deck? What does this person want to say to Virgo from this deck? You still take my breath away. Wow. It just confirms, Virgo, how much of an empress you are and how much they see you as the empress. This person has you up on a pedestal. They're obsessed with you. The devil card popped out twice, once in the pre-shuffle and once in the bound oracle. Um, and they're just, you know, they are living in their head about you. Um, they're beating themselves up. I mean, I'm telling you, this person, they haven't been doing well since you've moved on. I am working toward a better future. That's why, that's why what's going on behind the scenes, that they are um, the three of pentacles and the temperance. This person is trying to get their ducks in a row and clean up their life and grow and expand. So when they come back in your direction, they have something solid to offer you. So that just confirms that. A lot of signs are pointing to you lately. Yep, you are on this person's mind like you wouldn't believe. I can't give up on my responsibilities right now. That's because, again, they're trying to clean up their life. I'm still trying to find myself. What have I been saying this whole time? This person doesn't know who they are. And then when they met you, you know who you are. So then it really shined, shined the light you know, in back into their eyes or, you know, mirrored to them that like, oh my God, I have no idea who I am and I can't hold a candle to Virgo. Am I good enough for you? Yes, this person feels very, very inadequate. I don't know if I can meet your expectations. Am I good enough for you? I'm trying to take responsibility for my actions. Again, they're trying to clean up their life. They want to come back and they want to right the wrong. You're the only person who truly gets me. I got caught up in the moment, the, the moment of being a coward, basically. I can't take this anymore. I'm telling you, Virgo, this person has been busting at the seams. That's why the board card came out. It's almost like it's not because they're bored with you. They're bored with their own bullshit. <laughs> That should be the title of this video and they can't take it anymore. They need to fix this because they know that you've moved on and you've left them in their own pit of misery and they can't even like handle their own bullshit anymore. Oh my God. I miss the feel of you next to me. Or for some of you with a relationship that never got off the ground, they miss the thought of what could have been and daydreaming about you next to them. I'm trying to think of what I want to say to you. I think three different cards have come out here to show us that this person um, is at a loss for words. All right, so what's coming in here for Virgo in the future? 
uh, whether it's relating to this person in this situation or something new altogether, please. Let's give Virgo something for their future. What is coming in for Virgo's future, please? Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. What's coming in for their future? Please pop some cards, Spirit. Thank you, because... Um, I'm going to just put them face down, I think, and we'll flip them over because this video is getting too long. Thank you. What is coming in here for Virgo? Oh, they're flying out now. They're popping like popcorn. What's coming in here for Virgo in the future, please? Thank you. This one wants to come out. So does that one. What's coming in here for Virgo? Thank you. Oh, okay. Let's see what these are. We've got the moon, the sun, the well, ooh, and the heart. We've got the star. We've got the magnifying glass. Got too many cards on the table. We've got the mountain and we've got the bridge or the pathway. Very interesting. What this indicates to me, Virgo, what's coming in in the future for you is truth. Truth is going to get revealed in one way or the other in some area of your life um, and also clarity. So whether it's with this person or it's some other kind of truth in your life, whether it's a long lost burning question that you've always had, you've been searching the answer for, it's going to be coming out. This is also clarity in your own life about your own direction, okay? This is also about standing in your power, bringing it out into the open, whatever it is that you have to share in the world and, and standing strong in it, okay? well the well goes deep or it goes shallow it just depends on the cards that are around it this can be never-ending abundance never-ending talents gifts and abilities never-ending um vital life force within you once you fully stand in your power and you embrace it you will always be self-sufficient able to take care of yourself this is also indicating that new love is coming in for you deep love Okay, so whether this is a soulmate, whether it's this person coming back who wants to express their deep love for you, others of you have new lover coming in or new soulmate with a deep love attachment, soul attachment, you know, the love or the whatever emotions run deep in the waters. This is also love for self, or love for yourself running deep, going deep within yourself, your soul, your heart, your psyche, and really pulling out the best parts of yourself to share with the world. I feel like that's what I want to say here. We've got the star. We've got the magnifying glass. This is star energy. This is being a star. Standing in your stardom, standing in the spotlight on stage, sharing what you have to share with the world, taking a deeper look at your own talents, skills, abilities, natural gifts, psychic ability, mediumistic, artistic talents, whatever it is that's magical inside of you, Virgo, it's time to turn your focus and your attention towards your own magic, bring it out of you and start manifesting something with it. All right, block. Whatever the blocks are in your life in terms of manifesting your own magical gifts and abilities, Spirit wants you to know that it's time to find a way to manifest them, To time to find a way to overcome the blockages, obstacles, and delays. Also, Spirit wants you to know that they're going to be bringing you new bridges to walk across in order to walk over or around this blockage so that you can manifest your magic, bring it out into the world. In terms of love, this can indicate love coming in despite your circumstances or, or this person coming back and trying to move past the block that they caused with you in order to find a way back into your heart. Or this is somebody new coming in, into your life, a soulmate coming in. And I feel this soulmate is coming in, Virgo, after you stand in your truth and your power, your authenticity, and you are shining your magic into the world. I feel for some of you, you're going to find a new soulmate when you're aligned on the soul path of your destiny and your... Um, 
calling that you're supposed to be doing in this life that's when your soulmate for some of you is going to be either coming back around or they're going to be crossing your path for the first time so that's really what i'm feeling for you virgo thank you so much for joining me i hope this made sense i hope you enjoyed it write me and let me know what you thought of it we'll see you back here for mid-month updates in may bye